I promise, I promise I won't do a wrap for you, but I will show you how to wrap your cord. The cord, when you use it, most likely you're going to spool it out like this so that you have enough room to use it for whatever you need. Notice that this cord is in good shape. It's attached firmly at the base and it isn't expanded or frayed. When spooling it up, I have a secret method. First thing you do is hold the cord like this. Make a little loop and hold it with your finger. That way it relieves any stress on this end when you begin to wrap it up. Now when I begin to wind the cord, the cord is not twisting at this base, which tends to twist the end off. Breaking the power supply means replacing the power supply 80 bucks. The other thing that happens to these cords is people leave them out for their rabbits or their puppies or their cats and the cords get chewed up. All those cat cords, that also costs about $100 to replace and is certainly not covered under warranty. So watch out for this thing. Animals like to chew it, they tend to get electrocuted and it tends to break the cord. We don't want either of those things.